Hi, this is Eric Brenner. I am your instructor for the Skyline College Information Literacy Tutorial, and this video is going to teach you about what's called search strategy. That is, how to use the best combination of search words and the best search engines and databases to find the best quality sources for academic research for your college classes. The Super Search search engine right here on the Skyline College Library homepage is the best place to start your research. And the first place, the first thing to know is how do you get here to the Skyline College Library homepage. Um, and the easiest way to get here is just to Google Skyline College Library. You can also, if you're into URLs, you can remember skylinecollege.edu slash library. Or if you're anywhere on the Skyline College website at the bottom of every web page on the college website, there's quick links and the last link Will get you to the library. So any of those ways, uh, this is where you want to start your research. So what is Super Search? Super Search is where you want to start your research rather than starting with Google or other web search engines because Super Search will search in library databases which includes articles published in magazines, journals, and newspapers. Uh, also will include ebooks and it will also include books in our library and any library in San Mateo County it won't include the whole text of the books. It will give you the call numbers to find the books on the shelf or to order books from other libraries to be sent to Skyline. So the library and the college district actually pay tens of thousands of dollars a year to get the databases that you get access to for free through the Super Search search engine. Most of the sources you find on the results from your super search search will not be available through Google or other web search engines. The only way you can access super search results is by either being on campus or by using a PLS library card. PLS stands for Peninsula Library System and it is the library system that includes all the public libraries and community college libraries in San Mateo County. So you can get a PLS library card at Skyline Library or any public library in San Mateo County, or you can access an online education library access barcode number by uh, going online and clicking on the online services link right here on the library website. And then from here, you'll see uh, if you do not have a library card, it says right here, there's a link to online education library access application form. And when you click on that, you'll get a form to fill out to request that library access barcode number. The form requires a student ID G number and a California driver's license or ID number. And once you complete that form, you'll get sent a library access barcode number uh, within the next business day. So there are a number of major advantages of why you should use Super Search rather than using Google when you're doing research for any class at Skyline College or actually for any kind of research that's important to you. The number one reason is the sources that you'll find through the databases available through the Super Search search engine will all be high quality sources that are reputable and um, much more reliable than what you'll find when you do a general Google search. Also, for every source that you find through the Super Search search results, you'll be able to email the entire source to yourself. And when you email the sources, you'll also get a correctly formatted citation for every source that you send. So if you use that source in your research, all you have to do is copy and paste the citation from the source into your bibliography or works cited list in your research paper. And then the last thing is, once you do complete your search on Super Search, you will be able to, with one click, go to Google and do this exact same search without having to re-enter your search in Google. So it gives you the advantage of good quality sources, easy email citations for every source, and then a follow-up Google search all through the Super Search search engine. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to do a basic search in the Super Search search engine. And you should follow along closely because you're going to be required to follow the same steps when you do the tutorial 
search strategy assignment. So I'm going to start with a basic search on a general subject and I'm going to search for sources on fast food. So I just type in the words fast food and I click the search button or press enter and this is where you will be required to put in your library barcode number and a pin number which I already have saved on my computer so I'm just going to click log in and in a moment it's going to log me in and give me results. Let's open a new window up here and here are my results for fast food. It's found 287,784 sources on the subject of fast food and let's look at the results. The very first result when you put in a general search subject like fast food is what's called a research starter article and research starters are similar to uh, Wikipedia articles or encyclopedia articles but unlike Wikipedia they are sources that you can use for citing for research papers because they are actually written by experts that are identified and they're published in in this case a online encyclopedia called Salem Press Encyclopedia. So this article is on fast food but there's another related topic called fast food restaurants. And I think I'm gonna look for the article on fast food restaurants instead of just fast food but in either case it's going to be a general research starter article and when I click on the title it brings me to the article and it looks not too different from a Wikipedia article like I was saying nice general introduction to subject with a bibliography of additional sources at the bottom. The important difference between these articles and Wikipedia as I was saying before is there's actually an identified author in this case Alice Myers and Salem Press Encyclopedia was where this was originally published in January of 2016. And for every article that is in the super search search results you can email the entire article to yourself and to do that look under the tools bar on the right side and you'll see the email button right here and I click on email or the envelope icon there'll be a place to put my email address here and a subject for my inbox in my email right here when I go ahead and send it it's going to send me the full article plus a citation that's correctly formatted depending on the format that is identified right here. If you don't change this, it will be the MLA, Modern Language Association, citation format, which is most commonly used for English classes and other humanities classes. If your instructor or course requires a different type of citation format, then you'll want to use this pull down menu and change it to, for example, APA for American Psychological Association, which is used for psychology and other social science classes, or Chicago, which is typically used for history classes, um, but you'll want to check with your instructor before you uh, select whatever citation format is required. If you again, if you do not select the citation format, it will automatically send you MLA format. So I'm going to close the email window here, and I'm going to go back to my results right now, so I can show you additional results. So that is just a general research starter article. Beyond that first research starter article, each source is numbered and is labeled with a type of source. So number one and number two here are books that are available in our library. And you can see it says Skyline College Circulating Collection. And that means it's a book that can be checked out from our library. And to find that book on the shelf in our library, you'd copy down this call number, which is a set of letters and numbers right here and you then look for it on the shelf. If you have any trouble finding a book from the call number, you should ask a librarian. There's always a librarian available in the middle of the library at the reference desk. And librarians really love to get questions and try to help you out with any kind of research that you are having trouble with. So the first one and two are, are books in our library. Number three is identified as a reference article. That means it's like an encyclopedia article. So number four is an ebook. And ebooks are entire books that are available online that you can either download or email sections of the book to yourself. It's easiest to send sections of the book unless you want to read the entire book. So when you're looking at an ebook, one of the easiest places to start 
to get the information is to go to the table of contents. So I'm going to click on the table of contents on this. And when I do that, it will give me the different sections of the book. And sometimes you have to click on the plus button to focus in on the different subsections and chapters. And so let's say I want to go to this chapter two, which is on dietary fat. And um, I'm going to click on that link there. It's going to open up the second chapter and shows me the beginning of that that section, that chapter. And if I look through that and decide that I, I'm interested in that section, I can email the pages to myself. To email pages from an ebook, the link is up at the top here. So I'm going to click on the email pages link right here. And every ebook has a different maximum number of pages uh, that you can email or, or print out. And usually it's between 60 and 100 pages. And you can see right here, this one is 100 pages maximum. And the, the section, which uh, is the what they call the, uh, the chapter, uh, is 18 pages long. So if I want to email all the pages from that chapter, I just click on this radio button right here. And then I put my email address here, subject from my email here. And again, identify which citation format I want right here and then go ahead and click email PDF and it will send me all the pages of that chapter as an email with the, the pages sent as an attachment PDF. So now I'm going to click the, back to the result list to get back to my list of results. So below the ebook is a magazine article, then some academic journal articles, and I'll I want to talk about the difference between magazine articles and academic journal articles, but let's start by looking at an academic journal article, and I'm going to take this one, number seven here. So if I click on the title of an article, it doesn't show me the full article yet. First, it gives me the basic information, the authors, the name of the journal, in this case, Journal of Economic Issues, the date and page numbers, and basic subjects, and then a very, very useful part of the source information here is the abstract. The abstract is this paragraph that summarizes the entire article. And by reading the abstract, you can sometimes get enough information just from the abstract that you'll have a good idea what the whole article is about, and you can use that information to cite the source. But, of course, you want to read the article. So in order to get the full article, you want to look up here to find a link. There will always be one or more links to the full text at the upper left here. So I'm going to click where it says PDF full text in this case. And this will then open up a Adobe Acrobat version of the article. And here is the full article. And again, it actually gives you the abstract that, again at the beginning of every academic journal article. And academic journal articles are in-depth technical research-based articles usually written by researchers or professors, and they tend to be relatively long. This one is 30 pages. So they're the best kind of source ultimately for academic research, but not necessarily the best place to start when you're just beginning to learn about a new topic. So if I wanted to email this, I could use the email button right here, which is the envelope icon. But right now I'm just gonna go back to my result list so I click back here to go back to my result list. And I'm going to go down a little farther in my results to show you a magazine article. So there's a magazine article, academic journal article, magazine article, and so on. Um, I'm going to choose uh, this one here, just titled Free Bird. That's a magazine article. And on this one, it does have a short abstract here that will tell you it's an article about McDonald's and how they're using a new approach to raising chickens, cage-free eggs, and antibiotic-free chickens. So just by reading this, I know a lot about what that article is about. But again, to get to the full article, there's links up here. In this case, there's two options, HTML full text, which is like a web text version, or PDF full text, which is Adobe Acrobat version. Now I'm going to go back again to my result list. So you can see the difference between academic journals and magazine articles. And oftentimes you want to start with magazines 
or sometimes newspaper articles or books. But if you want to limit to one particular type of source, look on the left column here. It's just a little bit down from the top, and you'll see the source types section, and you'll see the different types of sources that are available. And right here is magazines. So if I click on magazines or the click the checkbox here, either way, it's going to just pull out only the magazine articles from your result list.